Our second half of the Manning Report. I am James David Manning, the quintessential American, everybody, broadcasting from the great metropolis of New York City, our studios located in our church building. And our church building is located in Atla. Atla is a new name that Almighty God has given for the community formed and known as Harlem. Harlem, on the other hand, has been sentenced to 1,000 years in the bottomless pit where many of you are going to go. And a good thing, too, probably. You don't want to get right, you don't want to act right, you don't want to talk right, you just want to keep on that ah jiggable stuff. And I'm, assur I'm assured that more than half of the 112th Congress will be accompanying Harlem in the bottomless pit just as soon as uh, we can get them sentenced there. All right, I got a call on the line already. Let me take this call. Hello, caller. Hi, Dr. Manning. How are you? Just fine. How are you? Good. Well, it's good to talk to you. How you been? I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, the reason I'm calling you is about this bird thing. Yeah, I know. Okay, um, look at the quadrant of the United States that this is affecting. It's affecting Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky, Chesapeake Bay. Um, Chesapeake Bay? And then I'm just reading down on the Drudge Report that 100 tons of dead fish wash up in Brazil. Now, I want you to think about the BP water spill. I'm not saying this is what it is, Dr. Manning. This is not what I'm saying. But it is part of that cod quadrant. Now, Dawn has been taking an awful lot of pictures, and they're spraying the hell out of Florida with contrails. She's got them all over Facebook, and I've said to Dawn on multiple occasions, please stop doing it. You don't know what they're spraying. They could have a virus in there, and you wouldn't even know it. Okay, so um, I think it's a combination. I don't think I'm 100% right, but I think, you know, my dots are connecting, too. The poisons that they used, because if you look at Chesapeake Bay, tens of thousands of, ma of small fish died in Chesapeake Bay. This all happened within the time frame of Arkansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, okay? This is all, like, connecting dots. But well, it's let me only ask you, one Janine, quadrant Janine, of our country. Janine, let me ask you a question. And you're, on, you're definitely on to uh, the source that this is not natural. This is not something God is doing. This is not something that's just occurring because of the biology of the air or the water. So uh, let me ask you a question, and, and I want you to think about this, Janine. Uh, who do you think is doing it? Do you think that it is the American CIA government, maniacal government, or do you think perhaps you think that we have some sort of biological warfare going on? I mean, and I respect your opinion. I'm sure everybody listening respects your opinion as well. And we're not saying that you know exactly. But this is biological warfare. Who do you... Who do you Dr. Manning, it's a genocide. It's, it's, a, it's a genocide that's going on in the, in the South. And everybody, and you know, Dr. Manning, we talked about this, and, and, you know, I know you're in all different different areas, but this has been a thorn in my side. Yet they're killing the Southern people. They're killing them at a rapid Why? Pace. Why do you think that South is under attack more so than North? Well, because there's a lot of oil down in the Gulf, Dr. Manning. There's a lot of oil. They've been digging down in the Gulf area for years. There's a lot of oil to be had. And for them to get that oil, they had to run a whole entire industry out of work. They had to run the whole industry of fishing out of work. They had to get them people off the shorelines of Florida, Alabama, so then I would, of, um, I, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. I, they had to wipe out that area. They don't want them people down there. There's right. a lot of oil there. Your, okay? your assessment then uh, points to the fact that this is something that's being done by our government or by a collusion between our government and the, our business in America. Is that right, what you're saying? That it has to do with the oil tycoons of our world, Halliburton, okay, um, Mobile Exxon, um, um, who else is it? BP? Now well, you understand, BP is owned by Queen Elizabeth and Queen Beatrix. Right, and they own a big you amount left, uh, of You left Shell Oil out. Are, are they innocent? Um, Shell isn't. Yeah, they're all dirty, Dr. Manning. Now, every one of them are dirty. They'll sell their mother's soul for a penny. <laughs> okay, they're dirty as the day is long. I really don't believe they even. I just believe they're moral decay. All of them are. Um, I just think this is a conspiracy, um, and you know, usually when a person uses the word conspiracy, if you follow it, it's the truth. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going um, to be putting forth a uh, 
just some hypotheticals a little bit later on in the broadcast today. But you're absolutely right. Uh, this is not happening because of Mother Nature, if you will. Uh, we are under chemical, genocidal, biological warfare. And uh, the demographics of this uh, is quite interesting, uh, as you have outlined it. And, and you know, losing Dawn is what I mind. It kind of blew me away a little bit sometimes. Dawn blows me out of the water. Um, Dawn, Dawn does as much research as I do. She had put a chemtrail online that was black. Now, as much as I study chemtrails and harp and, and all the, you know, bizarre stuff that these governments are doing, because it's not just the United States of America. It's all of them in collusion with one another. Okay. The, new, uh, the new warfare that's going to be at the people of the world it's going to be hard, okay? We're not going to be worried about bombs. That's why they're doing away with them as much as they can, the nuclear bombs, because it's going to be a heart machine. Like, who can, oh, well, who could throw a tornado and hit that state? Or who could throw a hurricane and kill those people? It's a big game to them. You know, it's, they're, they're just sick people. But don't put a black chemtrail online. It blew my mind. And, you know, I've, and I've been dissecting that, playing it over, playing it over, trying to figure out, what did they put in that airplane that sprayed that chemtrail? Uh, I, I have to research that um, because right now I'm reading up on bio well, yeah, when you get on when, bio when you get that huh? research done um, and any other research, let me know uh, because I'm very interested and I've got some hypotheticals I'm going to be putting forth, as I said before, but I, I know that we're under attack. There is no doubt about it. I am curious, however, I mean, you say that there's oil in the South. Uh, especially there there, in the Gulf. Gulf. There's and, a lot down there, Dr. Manning. And down in the Gulf, folks, there's, there's a lot of oil. They, they, have to get, they had to run that industry out of business. They had to run those people out of business. They had to take away their livelihood to get that oil. Okay, it is? It, it's all being motivated by greed. You know, human life doesn't mean anything to these people. Yeah, but it's if you shut down, here, here's, here's an argument, though, uh, Janine. You shut down the Gulf, you shut, shut down a major city, U.S. city, you shut down New Orleans because that city would have to die, and uh, you shut down the west coast of, uh, of Florida, which is a major area as well. Um, and so there, we, there, there definitely is a conspiracy, there, a controlled environmental, um, I, I think it's going on in that particular region. But listen, I got another caller on the line, and that caller has been waiting. I know you've been calling for the last hour, and I was glad to be able to finally pick you up. And this caller has been calling for a very long time. Let me hear this other caller, and maybe I can get back to you a little bit later on, uh, Janine. All right, Dr. Man. Take care. God bless you. All right, let me take the next call. Hello, caller. Hello, Pastor. How are you? Hey, Walt. How are you? I just want I'm doing great. Uh, and God bless Janine for what she's talking about, because that's why I'm calling. Um, you know, Pastor, down there in the Gulf, uh, I saw a thing, it was off the internet site called Intel Hub, where they had pictures of all the drilling. And according to what they've shown on this uh, report, the Gulf is not done leaking. The okay. wall might be sealed. I think, I think but Don filed that, a report on that as well. Don Camp and Janine both filed that same report. Yes, okay. Well, the other thing that uh, I found today was that they're saying about, uh, have you heard about there's been 500 earthquakes in Indiana since September of 2010? Well, I know there was one of uh, 4.8 yes. last week. And, yes, that uh, was a big one. Yeah, and I know but, that there have been several earthquakes reported in Indiana, but 500, no, I was not 500, aware of that. 500, yes. That very reported by the uh, geological that, that that keeps track of that. Right. Well, what they're thinking is happening is that because of all these cracks, because of that deep drilling in the Gulf, that it has started up. That in 1812 there was an earthquake along that fault line that goes up through Indiana and Minnesota, and it destroyed. I forget how many people. And that was in 1812, so look at the population compared to, you know, then and today. Yes. 
Well, you know, Janine just uh, raised, Janine raised an issue as well that I think is extremely critical, uh, and I don't think most people are thinking about that, and that is there is this nuclear um, I, uh, banning of, of, of uh, nu and uh, destroying nuclear weapons, uh, trying to bring down the number of nuclear weapons held by major nations like Russia and America. Absolutely. And well, they're of course because they don't need nuclear warfare. They've got this particular warfare that's being engaged at present. But I think the thing that that is significant about what Janine says is that biblically, we're we're more directed in prophecy towards the kind of genocidal biological destruction that's happening right now with the uh, Amen. and the Gulf than we would be nuclear. So definitely. There's no need for nuclear I, weapons right now when you can do... No, this. there isn't. No, there isn't. I, I mean, I, I agree 100%. I mean, we're being poisoned. Well, after, and it's, so it's what we're going to do, Walt? What you going to do about it? Well, you know, hey, did you see that article that uh, uh, um, Europe and Japan are now refusing any grain shipments from Australia because... Uh, Australia's grain has been infected with GMO. No, I'm not aware of that article uh, either. Great. <clears throat> yep. They, they will not take any more grain from Australia. But yet, here in the United States, we're eating it every day, and we, don't have, we have no clue what we're eating. We're like a bunch of sheep, you know. You're right Just about eat that. what they tell us to. You're, you're right about that, and I think that we need to be very, very careful at where we are, and we need to tread very carefully as well. Uh, listen, Walt, thank you very much for your call. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I love you, and thank you for taking my call. So you have a great day, and, uh, you Be know, careful. I really appreciate what Janine said. Yeah, I think she's uh, she's on to something, and I think her partner in investigation and world salvation is Don Camp. They both are pretty good at what, uh, they, what they do. Um, yes, they are. All right, well, listen, I've I'll, I'll, I'll got to go, got to run a break right right here. I'll talk right, to you God later. bless you, Take Pastor. care. The Lord bless you as well, Walt. All right, let's go to this break, and I'll be right back, everybody, uh, with some hypotheses a little bit later on on this entire matter. Dr. James David Manning promises to be right back, so please stay tuned. One, two, three, look at Mr. Lee. Are you getting married, planning a party, office affair, or perhaps a simple family dinner? 